It's normally in all of college basketball. It seats 14,000 as loud as it gets. But today, eerily quiet. Inside, Travion Williams with a first touch and right into the basket. There you go, Robbie. An early post-touch. Two early Oakland turnovers. The first three games for Oakland. And then the three-pointer drops for Brandon Newt. The floor, he's a really good-looking freshman. And a pass around inside. Oladapo with the bucket and the foul. That has been the issue for Oakland so far this season. They are less than 30% from the floor, less than 24% from outside the arc. But taking it to the rim, successful there for the junior transfer, Zion Young. Not many guys are going to feel very confident coming out of that shooting the basketball. So as Oakland continues to get games and practices under their belt, they're only going to get better. Place where Purdue has really been good on the defensive glass this year, and an early two offensive rebounds. It's just too easy. Right there, there's been some breakdowns in this zone, some wide open looks. Jalen Moore, great pass. Jalen Moore has been the headliner for this Oakland team through four games. A nice dish there, Noy, but struggling to start this year at under 30% from deep. Well, the learning curve still there for Mason Gillis. A really nice play on the offensive end. Thompson up ahead, Newman in the lane with the left hand, yes, Purdue is on a 10-0 run. Stefanovic again, this time go, but look at Edie, his ninth dunk of the season to lead Division I basketball. So many plays, but they are certainly working with the bare bones playbook here. Well, it worked early, and then Purdue went on the big run of his head, and that's one of those where you check for blood, and it hurts like crazy for a minute or two, and you wake up the next morning with a nice little shiner and a lump on your forehead. Three of eight from the field right now. This is in the corner. Ethan Morton knocks it down as he falls to his seat. I know a lot of people at That's USA exactly Basketball absolutely rave about Ethan Morton and his playmaking ability. He is more than capable and a guy that I really feel strongly about his ability as a scorer. Right now as a passer, that's a great pass, a good find. He could have really been a difference maker in that game. Nice pass inside and a good finish for Micah Parrish. You're out of basketball, it gets exponentially harder to get sweet shoes. Cross court skip, Jalen Moore knocking down the three. That's a good sign. Michigan, they could have won if they could have just hit some shots. They were 8 of 34. If there's one thing that Matt Painter can go back and watch the tape and say, we need to do better at it, it's rebound, which is shocking because Purdue has been so good rebounding the ball in the defensive end. Five early turnovers, the Boilers went on a 10-0 run and really have never looked back since. This guy's been hot. Three more for Brandon Newman. He now has 21 points going forward. Is How are they going to shoot away from Mackey Arena? It'll be interesting to see what the impact is. There are the quick hands of Jalen Moore. Regardless of how the team we were playing was doing in their year, they could be 0-10. You always heard about one player who was like, this guy could play anywhere in the country. He basically practices for us. He just wants to get ready for Horizon League play. No question. And for the situation that they dealt with coming in here with, with COVID and hard better, we're going to do shell drill for the next 10 days. <laughs> A great pass. A great pass. What a feed, Williams to Gillis. Out in Florida. Nice move, taking it to the basket. Greg Campy is really high on his freshman. And honestly, he went out and recruited some real size for the Horizon League. He, he's got three freshmen who stand 6'6 six, six or bigger. Inside of a minute left. Wolverine from deep, and why not? The skill set, th that is amazing. Th that is absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> now Purdue, 93-50, to 50, the final.